Good morning, everybody. Today we are here for Quick Tip Thursday. Um, we're going to learn how to clean skin using Topaz Clean. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, go ahead and type them into your question module on your GoToWebinar panel on your screen. Ashley Robinson, our awesome product manager, will be answering them as quickly as possible. And we'll go over a couple questions at the end of the presentation as well. Topaz Clean is a texture adjustment program, and it's designed to help you achieve a variety of different textures. It's not um, necessarily designed just for skin cleaning. So let's go ahead and take this first image of this lovely lady into Topaz Clean. I'll show you a few things that it can do. We'll go up to Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Clean. And here we have our Topaz Clean interface. One of the most popular effects of Topaz Clean is this cartooned look. And that really um, takes your image to a different level, very artistic look. And it, we're also, um, people use Topaz Clean for a curly look, uh, very texturized and, and artistic. However, it is also a very good skin smoothing program. Um, it can reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and blemishes within your image, and it still retains important detail at the same time and some defining characteristics. So I'll show you a couple examples here how to simply smooth your subject's skin. So here we have a um, lovely picture of this girl, and she just has some blemishes and a couple marks on her skin that might not be attractive um, in, an, in an image, and they're simple to get rid of in Topaz Clean. One of our default presets over here, Skin Even, is a great way to start out, so I'm just going to press that. And immediately, you see a significant difference. So here's before and after. As you can see, a lot of the pock marks are gone. It's smoothed over yet it's still a beautiful texture to her skin. Let me show you again. Here's before and after. Now, let me take you over to the sliders and show you exactly which sliders are useful with um, the process of cleaning skin. When you're working with skin itself, I recommend that you use the Clean and Texture tabs and just start with the Clean tab. I'm going to go ahead and reset all. All right. The first one is the strength tab. And depending upon how strong you want um, the clean, smooth look um, is, is how strong you need to set your strength. As you go higher, that cartoon look um, starts to become apparent. Everything um, becomes much more flat, much more stylized. And, but if you're looking for a more natural look, I suggest staying at one or two. For this uh, image, we're going to go ahead and go to two. Let's go to our threshold slider. The threshold uh, really determines what size features um, in the skin are going to be removed or smoothed out. Um, a higher value as we go higher generally um, produces a, a flatter look, so let's try that. That really flattens out the entire overall image and smooths it out. So again, be careful with this one. I like to go anywhere between 0 0.4, 0 0.5, that area is a really nice um, area to stay in when working with more natural, evenly textured results. Okay, the radius is actually affecting the radius in, in pixels. And again, a higher value will affect it and go a little bit more flat. So let's go down a little bit more. All right, and the texture tab is very important as well because this has been smoothed out with our clean tab, but it doesn't look very realistic because her texture is, is pretty much gone at this point. Um, the great thing about our texture tab, um, 
this texture slider actually reintroduces the texture that was taken out with the clean tab, however, it introduces it um, without the additional um, features that were removed. So let's go ahead and take this up just a bit. And I'll show you, if you take it all the way up, you get quite a bit of texture back. Let me show you before and after. And then the boost slider, it's going to strengthen the smaller textures. Let's take that all the way up just to show you. So as you can see, that really introduced a lot of those pores back in and a lot of those smaller textures. It's a little too much here. Looks so we're going to take that boost back down. I'm also going to take my texture tab a bit down. Take that boost up now. And here we have before and after. Okay, the last of the sliders here is the size tab. Let's take that all the way up so you can see. What that does as you go up in size, it sets the um, in pixels, it changes the size of the texture that you're going to be reintroducing. So here is a bit more larger texture that was introduced, and as you go down, it's a bit smaller texture. So this is going to be a little bit different for each person that you work with. However, the skin even, again, is a really great starting place, and I recommend that you do that with your portrait images. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. We have our before and after image. It's a nice um, transition. I'll tell you one of the workflows that I really enjoy, though, to bring the details back into the eyes. Um, really focus on that catch light and those things that are really important within pictures of, of people. So I'm actually going to go back to my original background and take that into to, uh, Topaz Clean again. And what I'm going to be focusing on here is really bringing out the lines of the eyebrows, the eyelashes, the sharpness of the eyes, um, the overall crispness of the hair, really bringing out some texture that might have been taken away during the skin cleaning process. So let me go down to Reset All. And instead of working in the Texture or Clean tab, I'm going to work within my Edges tab. And here I'm just going to really focus on the eyes and the hairline to see exactly the effect that I'm producing. Here, take that accent slider all the way up and just to see the difference. And let me show you here. Just focus on the eyes and the eyelashes. Here's before and after. It's pretty subtle at this point. Um, it, the accent really controls the degree of edge enhancement. Um, it'll define line, uh, lines a bit more as you increase it. And so when you go to the radius, it's actually defining the size of the edge being processed. So this can really help define your look as well. So let's take that radius all the way up. And that is starting to give us a curly look. For um, eyelashes, I tend to go pretty down with the radius since we want to keep a more natural look and then take my sharpness pretty high. As you can see, that's, that's a very um, defined look there, very stylized. So I'm going to take my sharpness a bit down until I'm happy with my result. Now notice this hairline, the hair itself, the um, overall, um, the catch light, how it's really become much more sharp. Here's before and here's after. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that back into Photoshop. I'll go ahead and make that a bit more so we can tell the difference. Take that back into Photoshop and say OK. And the layer that I worked on the skin is above the layer that I worked on the eyes and the hair. So on the layer of the skin, I'm going to actually do a layer mask and say Reveal All. 
make sure I'm on my black um, my black brush just so you can see the difference I'm going to keep my opacity at 100 but you definitely when you're working on your images that's going to be a striking difference so you probably want to take that down just a bit but let me get in closer here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush that detail back into the eyes and it's actually much sharper than the original detail as well and it really helps to bring out the hair and the strong lines that you like to focus on within these images you can also bring a little bit more back into the lips as well and so let me show you what we have here here on the right you have that layer mask that I just made so you can see where I've made my marks and let's check it out what we have so here is the original here is the layer with the skin cleaning these are the original um, the original images eyes and hair detail and now here's a bit more sharp so those are just some tricks and tips I have for you on skin cleaning and um, bringing out the detail within the eyes as well as the hair and, and, and eyelashes. And overall, using Topaz Clean can give you a very balanced and evenly textured result, which is something that you might be looking for within portrait imagery. So at this time, I'll take a couple questions. Um, let me check it out and see if we have any. Let's see here. Greg is wondering how this will work with restoring old photos, scans. And um, Greg, I don't actually have an old black and white example set up right now, but I imagine that it will help, especially the clean tab, will help take out some of that grain that will be within those scans and those images. And clean up any sort of um, relevant marks and the good thing about clean is that it can be a very subtle program a lot of um, users don't realize that it can be anywhere from very subtle to very extreme artistic um, art effects I hope that helps and I would definitely try it out if so send us a picture and tell us how it looks all right, thanks again. We'll be answering some of these questions online if you want to stay online, and um, otherwise send them to webinars at topazlabs.com. Look forward to uh, another webinar. Thanks, guys.